Hey, hello, welcome, I'm Stormo. We're playing Monster Hunter World. Yay! On PC! Yay! Oh boy, I've been looking forward to this for a while and uh, I'm just going to turn my volume down a little bit on my microphone. It's a little bit loud. Um, so, I'm from... Uh, from Monday. I'm going to be trying to stream a fair bit more. Um, and part of that is that I'm probably going to do uh, a lot of Monster Hunter World. I think that's a good game to stream. Um, let me just organise my cabling around here because I've got cables over cables. Just move that slightly out of the way because I'm not going to need it too much right now. Um, how's the audio? Is everything right? Everything's unmuted. There's there's music. It's all going well. Okay. Whew, 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 whew. Yeah, so I'm going to stream a lot more Monster Hunter World. Um, I have been playing this a bit, but I thought uh, for the purpose of tonight's stream, we would start a new character. Uh, I think that's kind of the plan uh, here. So we're going to do that. Um, so yeah, I've been playing a, a character using a bow. She's basically an attempt to recreate the character I had on PS4. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go bow for the character we play on stream, but I'll probably mix up weapon types as we go along, do different builds, that kind of stuff. So, what are we doing? Where are we going here? Oh, oh, hang on, hang on, oh no. There's something I wanted to do, and I haven't done it. Um, it's gonna put the audio in English. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna stop the game for a moment. Uh, I can't stop the game. I can stop the game, I can certainly do that. Or I can't stop the game yet. Um, I was gonna play the game in English. Um, I actually don't mind the English audio in this game. Uh, but apparently I can't, so we'll just have to go with the Japanese audio. If you've never seen the intro cutscene, it's... The subtitles are there, you can read those. But I will flip the language, but I have to do that off the title screen. I forgot to do it before I started. Um, I had been playing in Japanese, see if I liked the Japanese. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, this is, uh, Monster Hunter World. Um, and, uh, yeah. It's a bloody fantastic game. That's the, the best I can say for it. It's one of the best video games. It's certainly my game of the year for 2018. Unless something better comes out between now and the end of the year, which which might happen. Like, Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate on the Switch might turn out to be even better. I doubt it. Um, but... Yeah, this is, this is uh, out. It's happening. Um, and, uh, yeah, I can't skip the cutscene at all, can I? No. Once this is done, I'll have to flip out, uh, I, I think once we get to Asteria for the first time will be when I'll have the opportunity to change. So we're just gonna have to deal with it in Japanese for the moment. The Japanese audio is fine. It's what I normally play Japanese games in. Just, uh, this particular game, I actually, actually find the English audio a little bit nicer. Um, I, I just think some of the characters sound better in English. Like, I think the, uh, the Handler character sounds a lot nicer in English. I think, uh, these two sound a bit better. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I love how she gets pissed off. She's like, nope! <laughs> Walks away. Oh, look at that adorable Palico. Look at them all, they're so good! Okay, let's make a hunter. Let's make a hunter. Um, oh yeah, with this game you can change the background so you can see what your hunter looks like in different lighting circumstances too. We're gonna be a girl, obviously. Why would I not be? Uh, we're gonna play around with some face presets. Uh, let's see. The character creator is pretty involved. Uh, if you've never played this game before, the character creator is very involved. I've only ever used it a couple of times. Let me go that round face. Darren, we're gonna. Yeah, we'll confirm that one. Uh, skin. I'm gonna go a light skin. Actually, I usually go that skin color. I like that color. Um, although, I suppose I could go here and. Uh, How's that? Yeah, it's fine. Um, and I'll get rid of wrinkles. Nobody has wrinkles. Not in my world. Wrinkles are bad. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, hair, let's see what we're gonna get for hair. Um, you get a fair few choices, and if I download, if I remembered to download them, there were a bunch of bonus choices that I could have had as well. Um, but I just haven't got around to that yet. Uh, I think my my other Monster Hunter has that haircut. 
Oh, yo. Eh, that's what I use in the PS4. <laughs> I just realised it's like, yeah, that's the one I use in the PS4. That's the one I use for my other character. Man, there's some good options here. I just can't think of one one I want. Bob, the headband. That's nice. Pigtails. We could have pigtails. Uh, maybe that's the one I. Actually, that's the one I use. So where was the other one? Where's that other uh, ponytail one? Oh, where was it? Yeah, that one. I might use that one. That looks all right. Uh, we'll change the color to. We'll make it. Uh, how about we go blonde? Nice blonde, like my hair. Yeah, that there, dark blonde. That looks good. Is that a blonde or a brown? That's more blonde. Or maybe ah, uh, hang on, this is more blonde. Hey, Steam notification pop-ups. I should have turned them off for some reason. For some reason, I don't understand. This game uses the I think it's the Steam TV overlay let me just see if I can pop it up and if it shows up I don't know if this will show up on the on the stream though because it's the Steam overlay um it doesn't look like it shows up on stream <laughs> um but yeah it uses the uh it uses the you know all, all it did was change the background yeah oh well yeah but yeah it uses the oops I like that, or do I like? I like the lighter blonde actually there, so we'll go that one. Fern, that's our hair. Now eyes. Let's make eyes that match the hair. I'm, I never understand. Like, I'm never good at picking good eyebrow options. I guess. Like, that's fine. I guess. That's fine. I guess. Like whatever. I don't, I don't know. The only thing I was. The only thing I always think is important is making sure they match the. Hair color, so yeah, that'll do. Uh, eyes, let's see what eyes we want. There's a lot of different eyes. We have big wide eyes, big rounds. I know the character looks really derpy at the moment because of the mouth, but uh, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll fix that up shortly. Um, I like that. Those eyes. Those look nice. Now let me change the color. How about we blonde haired and blue eyed? How does that sound? That sounds good. Yep. Okay, blonde hair, blue eyed. Here we go. Nose. Uh, that's not a bad nose. That's a nicer nose. Go with a tiny little nose. Yep, little button nose. Sounds good. Mouth. Now this will fix a lot of the problems with the way that. Yeah, look how much different that looks now. <laughs> like I, I understand that, that mouth type is for a specific kind of uh, sort of um, uh, uh, appearance. Like, for the black character that we started off with, it was fine. It looked fine with the black skin and everything, but on it, with a lighter skin colour, it looks derpy as hell. Like, you can sort of see that some of these are intended for more Asian-looking faces, more, um, uh, sort of Anglo-looking faces, that kind of thing. It's all sort of done that way. Uh... I like that one. She's got a nice overbite. That looks good. Uh, position? Yeah, it's fine. So we did get that one, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she looks good so far. Facial hair, she's a girl. Makeup, I don't really want makeup if I can avoid it. Uh, I will have no makeup because I don't like having makeup on my characters. Uh, no, no, whoops. I'll just can the makeup there and makeup. Uh, we'll can that. Uh, oh, no, how? Can that as well because I'm just I'm not a big fan of makeup options. I generally like having my faces unadorned. That's fine. Default expression is bizarre. Like, you can preview them. This is for when they smile at the end of the, um, at the end of the thing. I like, I like, I like the subtle smile. We'll go with that. That sounds good. Clothing, you can choose one underwear you have. It really makes no difference. Let's just go with, I'll go with this one. That looks nice. Yep. I'm not even gonna change the color. And voice. Okay, so we have voice. There are, by the way, 20 different voices. Yeah, this game has mad system requirements, doesn't it? Um, I, I'm, I'm running it on a 
1080 Ti on a 8700 uh, Core i7, 8700. So, I, I, I meet the minimum system requirements for this game fairly okay-ishly. Um, but this game just seems badly optimised. Um... Trying to decide which voice I want. The, you can also do action samples where you can actually see what it is with each action, which wasn't in the original PS4 version. I don't, I don't remember. I liked. Uh, I think it was back here. I like Type Five. Yeah, I like that one, actually. It was Type 4 that I, I thought was good, so I'll go with that. Uh, default ammo. So, uh, because I have... Um, because I have the PC version, you get, aside from the leather and the chainmail, you have no armor for some reason. Um, and, and by the way, these are full armor sets that you can just have. Um, the Origin armor set's actually a little bit better. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I've heard, like, on older cars, like, th the annoying thing for me is, because I have a 1080 Ti, I basically, it's nearly impossible for me to, um, make the game run badly. Like, I've got it maxed out, and it's, you know, it just runs fine. Um, so I haven't really experienced a lot of performance issues, but I've heard, you know, I've seen Digital Foundry, I think, did a video, um, or maybe they're doing a video, um, but, I mean, this game ran rough as guts on the PS4 Pro, you know, like, it couldn't maintain a consistent 30 um, I'm going to try and disable my Steam notifications, because those are obnoxiously large. Uh, I don't know how to do that, though. <laughs> um, uh, how do you turn off Steam notifications? I've never had to do that before, because I've never played a game that uses the Steam UI, the, the Steam console uh, UI, the, the TV UI, uh, very well. What am I going to call this character? Oh, I know what I was going to call her. I was going to call her after one of my World of Warcraft characters, so I'm going to call her that. That name is perfectly okay. Oh, gods, I have to make a palico. Ah, boy. Boy, 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 boy. Um, but yeah, um, so I, I, I thought, you know, that the, um, I might go, uh, oh, that was nice, smoky, dark palico. Yeah, I might get that. Um, you know, and I was just like, yeah, this is not great, um, with the PC, the PC versions. It's actually a really dark black. I make my palico all black, actually, that sounds good. Um, well, if I'm making my Pelico all black, I should do this. Um, anyway, what, what was I saying? I was saying, uh, the PC version, um, you know, you would expect to, you know, one on a wide range. But then again, you remember that this game uses MT Framework, is the engine it runs on. Oh, that's cool looking Palico. That's cool looking Black Cat Palico. I wonder actually, can I make that, uh, it just gives him white. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay, that's fine. I could have used a different pattern, I suppose, but that's fine. Or I could have just gone no pattern, and that would have just made him black all over anyway. Well, there we go. Eyes, let's give us Palico. Do you want shifty eyed Palico? Do you want close eyed Palico? I honestly like the big round eyes or these eyes the best. I'll leave them green, they'll look fine. Ears, yeah, those are the best ears. Like, I don't even know why I bother with. Like, like straight up, this or this are the only two ears worth bothering with. Uh, tail, uh, I generally prefer the bushier tail, yeah. So we got that. Clothing, yes, you can have clothing. You can have those clothes. Oh, well. Do that one. Default armor, you can have the leather armor. Yep, confirm. Done! Yay! Oh, uh, what am I gonna call my Pelico? Um, you know, I know, I know what I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna name my Palico after the very first cat I ever had as a kid, which was named Lyra. That's what my cat, my Palico is gonna be named. She was also a totally black cat. Um, so there we go. Yep, that looks cool. 
Oh, the helmet from the origin armor actually inherits your hair color. So that hairstyle that my character has there is actually from the origin armor. It's the hair from that, but the helmet actually inherits it. Um, but yeah, re regarding uh, PC performance, like, yeah, it's trash. Um, and yeah, MT Framework is like, it's the engine that Street Fighter 4 ran on. Um, and it's bizarre, because Capcom have like three different engines that they're using at the moment. They're using Unreal Engine 4 for like Street Fighter 5. The Resident Evil 7 engine that's just called the Resident Engine, or the RE Engine or something. And then apparently they're still using MT Framework as well. Yeah, I am, I, I am able to run this game, just so it's clear, I am able to run this game at a constant uh, 60 FPS. It's just, for streaming purposes, I can only stream at 30 FPS because of my uh, upload bandwidth, um, which is why it's 30 FPS, 720p. Um, but on my screen, it looks nice. Yeah, I'll probably play with the English voices turned on. Once I get to Estereo and I can change that, I'll do that. I love her goggles. It's weird how the opening of this game and the opening of S8 are actually very similar. So I'm not sure how long I'm going to get to stream tonight. Um, I just had the opportunity to do it on my own for a bit, and uh, there's people aren't home right now, and I'm like, yep, okay, well, no one's home, I'll stream for a bit, and uh, I don't know when they're getting back, so I have asked them to notify me, so uh, I know when they're getting back, and then I'll probably kill the stream at whatever time that is. But until then, I've got coffee, I've got Monster Hunter World, I've got a Xbox One controller, should probably push the PC in a bit, the, the, the keyboard in a bit, I'm not going to need it for a while. You say that about the English lip sync being really bad, but honestly, the Japanese lip sync isn't any better. Um, like, I don't know if you've noticed, but it doesn't li lip sync very well to the Japanese either. Like, maybe it lip syncs better to like the French or the Italian or the German voiceover. I don't know. Yeah, when your ship's ended up like that, you've got a problem. Yeah. Ah! Scramble up. I have no stamina meter here, so I can just use the, um, I can just do that all the time if I want. Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn those notifications off, because they're huge on my screen. Those wondering, Smurfy, the, the Smurfy Gardeners thing is a, um, a Team Fortress 2 group I was a part Team Fortress 2 group I was a part of. It was a server um, uh, for TF2 that I played on a lot uh, back in the day. And uh, I just never left the group. So whenever the, the Gardeners thing is, they, they have a thing where they can pop up a notification when they need people on a server. So... Catch that wing drake. 
Yes! I gotta admit, this is a pretty cool introduction. And Zora Magdoros looks freaking fantastic. Look at my 80s hair. I look like I just stepped out of a visual key band. The other thing I'd done with the PC version, you might want to do this, um... Uh, regarding Capcom's PC ports, um, I... I... Only owned a couple of Capcom PC games. Street Fighter V, they've supported pretty well on PC. Um, uh, but that game is also Unreal Engine 4 as well, so, um, it's a bit easier, I guess, to support that on PC, whereas MT framework games like this, uh, Street Fighter 4 apparently ran fine on PC without too many issues. It just seems to be Monster Hunter Worlds, but yeah, Capcom will patch the crap out of this. I mean, for a start, the game sold too well for it, for them not to support it, um, I would say, like, um, I think this game broke... Uh, Steam's first day sales record in Japan by like a hundred thousand units or something. Um, like on Thursday, like it sold two hundred and something thousand uh, units in Japan on launch. Um, and I imagine it's done pretty well. Oh no, that's right. It had like that many concurrent users. Broke the concurrency record in Japan um, for a game. Um, and yeah, I, I mean, Capcom have already done a couple of small patches to the game since launch there was one um so when the game launched the the copy protection th that was th that it uses um didn't work on certain processes um so they had to patch it so that it would actually launch on i think you needed older like i think it was haswell processes and older um it wouldn't run on so they had to they had to patch that um, they had to do a bunch of other stuff as well. One thing, with regards to performance, there is one thing, and I'll just quickly bring this up, because this is really important. Um, there's options, graphics options. There's an option in advanced graphics settings called volume rendering quality, and I 100% recommend turning that off no matter what graphics card you're running. I have it turned off. It makes the game look terrible. Um, it also tanks the frame rate. Uh, which is really funny. Um, I, I, apparently on some setups, people can gain 20 to 30 frames per second just by disabling it, and it makes the game look better because it's the, the volume fog effect is the washed-out lighting effect that the game has on PS4 and Xbox One that makes the game look really washed out. And if you turn that off, the game looks bright and colourful and really nice. And the PS4 version, um, I, I played on a... Where am I going here? I played on a uh, PS4 Pro with a HDR TV... The PS4 version has the worst HDR color implementation of any game I've seen. It looks better with HDR turned off than with it turned on. Oh, I've got to go this way, do I? Oh, it's just telling me to follow her. Whatever. Yeah, I mean... <sighs> You might be better off on your setup. Um, you, you said you had a 970, which is actually what I had before I got my 1080 was a 970. It's a good card. Trusty, reliable 970. Um, you might be better off. The game does have a frame rate cap, and if you just want a constant frame rate, you might be better off forcing it to just sit at 30. Um, like, I know it's not ideal. It's certainly not what you want uh, as a PC gamer, but if you're struggling to get... Like, I always find, personally, that a stable frame rate is better than a high frame rate that's unstable. Like, if you're getting a frame rate that that jumps between 50 and 60 all the time, all right, in any game, the frame rate's jumping up and down, you're getting a lot of frame pacing issues, um, where the frame's coming out at different times. 
that can be worse than having a stable 30 frames per second. Um, and I, I've encountered a few games, uh, on my 970 actually, I encountered a few games where the option to cap a 30 FPS uh, was, uh, that's right, we're going to learn to hide. The option to cap a 30 FPS frame rate was actually uh, the better option. I don't know how they can't see us in here. They saw us going. Um, but yeah, apparently, I, I haven't, I don't know what they are, but apparently there are some settings you can tweak in an any file that comes with the game that have helped some people but not a hundred percent sure on that um and you might want to check like reddit or something like that just to see uh what that's about um but like yeah the volume fog option for me like not only makes the game worse but like if it makes the game perform worse and look worse why would you ever turn it on um so i definitely if you haven't disabled that already i definitely recommend disabling that uh fully don't set it to low or anything because the game just looks like trash with the turned on um but yeah the other settings are like yeah it's you've got to find a happy medium and like i mean the 970 is getting on a bit in age now but it's not an it's not exactly an old outdated card you know like it's when did the 970 come out like three or four years ago um so you know it's not exactly an outdated card um and like you should be able to get and, and as you said on medium settings you should be able to get medium settings out of it like you know um you should be able to get a stable frame rate for sure um the fact that i need a 1080 ti uh to get a stable frame rate well, where am i going here don't you want to see oh right all right it's this way i thought we we're going out of here i'm just i'm just not paying attention to the game <laughs> I've done this quest. I actually haven't done the starting quest very often because this is the kind of game where, like, you make a character, you just stick with the character, you don't um, go back. Like, I've only ever made one character on the PS4 version, um, and I'm only making a second character on PC so that I can stream with the second character. Um, so, hey there, great Jagras. I love the introduction you get to great Jagras and Anjananth here. That's what we were waiting to have happen. So I'm kind of deciding what weapon I should be using. Um, I normally play bows, and I really enjoy pl the bow gameplay in this game. Um, oh hey, it's Anjanath. Hello, Anjanath. I will kill you later. Kill both of these guys later. Oh, I can run now. I forgot. I forgot the cutscene was over. Oh well. I've been debating uh, trying to play one of the melee weapon types, like, because I primarily play bow, and one of the reasons I primarily play bow is because you don't have to put up the sharpness mechanic. Oh, and just to clarify something, this is also my first Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter game. Um, I hadn't played one before this, so... But I really like this, and I'm really worried that if I get uh, Generations Unlimited on the uh, Wii, on, on the Wii, on the, on the Switch, um that I'm not going to like it as much, just because it's the older style of Monster Hunter game without the open world areas. We were the last ones to arrive. Leave for us. This place looks great. I love Astera. It looks so nice.
変だったなあんたたちが見当たんなかったからヒヤヒヤしたんだよかった探しに行こうかって話してたのよなんてことなかったですおい手伝ってくれほら<笑>あじゃああとでな As an aside, the Origin armor that I'm wearing,、uh, I think I'm pretty sure it's designed to look like、uh, one, of the, one of the more well known armors from one of the previous games, but I wouldn't know which one. <laughs> I probably should, but I don't. Yeah, I'm wondering. I, I was thinking of trying out the、uh, longsword with this character. That seems like a pretty cool melee weapon. But I just. The sharpness mechanic for melee weapons drives me up the wall. But then again, the other hand, bows tend not to do as much damage, so. Trying to take down bigger enemies with a bow is just like. It just takes forever. Okay, welcome to Astero. I'm glad you made it. Somehow I knew you would, though. When you've been in command as long as I have, you start to learn who's capable and who isn't. Now, as much as I'd like to get you up to speed, I'm being pulled in about eight directions at once. We'll cover the important matters at Council, which I'll be convening once things settle down. I expect you two to be there, of course. The Guild spoke highly of you as individuals. Think what you can do as a team. And before I forget, your fairy friend was looking for you. Poor thing washed up not too long ago.、Yeah, it's your PC gamer ego if you have to go up to 30. Yeah, I fully understand that. I'm there with you.、Um, go ahead and have a look around Astera. A horn will sound when it's time for council. Well, off you go. I mean, I've got a 1080 Ti and I can only play this game in 1080p because I don't have a. I, that, that's my monitor resolution. I only have a 1080, a 1920 by 1080 monitor, so, like, you know. I mean, I, I do have a 4K TV and I. Can actually, there's like for some reason, my PC case that I've got's got a HDMI port on the front of it, so you can, can actually hook it up and plug it into the TV. But the one time we tried that, it didn't work, like, it just would not feed a signal to the TV at all. Um, like, it detected and everything, and we did get a signal briefly, and then it stopped sending a signal. We have no idea why. Um, anyway, getting a guided tour of Astera here, just so everyone's aware of what's going on. Um, I think we'll find my palico here. I like the palicos. I know Wooly from Super Best Friends hates them. Because he wants them to be dogs rather than cats. But I like them. Look at that. Yeah, I, I, know, I, I know the stream isn't benefiting from the 60 FPS、uh, gameplay that I'm getting, but、uh, it feels nice. Oh, the other thing you might want to look into, I'm not sure if you've looked into this,、uh, if you're tweaking performance with the game.、Um, yeah, we'll have a look here, but we'll just follow the field team leader for now. But the other thing you might want to look into is the game does have the ability to set internal rendering resolutions, and you might want to see if you can do something there.、Um, try, if, if you want the frame rate above all else, there are options in, internal in the internal rendering options. Um, obviously, the game won't look as nice、um, because you might be running at a lower resolution in your screen and upscaling, but you know, th that, that's another option you've got there.、Um, but like, a 970 should run this game fine. Like, it's just poor optimization、uh, that's causing that. My Pelico looks great. Oh, jeez. It's like 9 30 and I'm yawning. Oh, <laughs> Oh, 
Oops. Slightly cut off that line. <laughs> That's the problem with playing it in Japanese. ちょうさ。調査拠点の安全確保を頼む。まずはジャグラスの Do you think it will take them long to start patching, optimizing stuff? Because I have a friend who can run the game at a constant 60 and he's waiting for me to get my stuff fixed. Oh, whew, that's a good question. Um, like, it's been... When did it launch on PS4? Back in February, I think? And the PS4 version still runs kind of rough. Um, like, even on a Pro... They did tweak the performance, um, but the two big performance issues on the PS4, which is the wobbly frame rate and the long load times that the game has, have never really been fixed. They did do a patch that kind of cleaned up the load times a little bit, and apparently there were some performance patches, but I never noticed huge differences on my PS4 Pro. Um, so... <sighs> In that regard, I'm not sure, like, the game is going to get a lot of patches for content, like, they're, they're going to add new monsters and stuff like that. The PC version's behind, in terms of monsters, it doesn't have, um, uh, what's his name, Pickle, um, yet. Uh, I've forgotten his actual name. <laughs> um, and, like, stuff like the, um, Cool of Taroth and things like that aren't in the PC version. Um, neither are the, the crossover events, the Mega Man and the, uh, Horizon Zero Door event. Zero Dawn events obviously aren't in the, P the PC version. Um, they may never be in the PC version either. Um, I don't know. Um, anyway, that's the housekeeper. Yep. Oh, he wants me to go to my equipment box. Yeah, I should, should pay attention to the subtitles. Ah, let's change equipment. Yes. Okay, so. What weapon do I want to use? Um... I don't mind the dual blades, but I find them a bit simple to use. I have tried this and I find it okay, but that sharpness mechanic just gets me after a while. Um, bow is my bow is my best bud. Uh, I like the bows a lot. Bow, the way bows work in this game is really nice. The only issue is that it never feels like you're doing a lot of damage because your damage numbers are a lot lower. But then you have to remember with the bows and because the way damage works in this game, um, with the bows that you're hitting a lot faster so while you're not going to see like 200 300 damage which is what at high end uh what a high end greatsword can do um you're going to do about as much in a much larger number of hits and that's good for a couple of things for example if you're trying to stun or land a status effect on an enemy a bow is good because you're doing lots of hits and landing status effects is about landing the hits um Whereas something like this, you're not doing as much in terms of status effects, but you're hitting harder. So that's why bows are, are why, why that, that, that's sort of where the, the strengths and weaknesses of the bow are. 
I've tried switch axes in the fa in the past. I couldn't get the hang of them. Um, we're going to try to get the hang of this because I want to get the hang of a melee weapon. I don't want to use dual blades, so we're going to try and get the hang of this. Um, we'll go back, and uh, we'll probably have a bow as a backup weapon that we'll take out occasionally when I decide that I can't handle using melee. <laughs> the other pro the, the other nice thing about the bow, of course, you can stay away from the monster, um, so it's always handy. And the bow actually has a really nice um, avoidance move. Maybe the only weapon in the game that has a dodge that can be cancelled into. None of the other weapons you can cancel into the dodge. Like this game has uh, that same thing that games like uh, Dark Souls have, where um, you have animation lock. When you attack, you commit to attacking. And you have to go through the whole animation of the attack. Um, uh, yeah, and so and I'll just quickly show it because we'll go to the training area. The other nice thing this PC version has is the load times. Like I, I'm loading it off a hard drive because um, I've got like I, I keep my games on a four terabyte hard drive in the PC. Um, but uh, I've heard that off an SSD, it's even better. Um, so. Okay, so this is how this, this weapon works. So you have one, two, three, four. And that builds your meter. You can see the uh, the red sword meter, not the yellow one. That's the sharpness meter. You can see that red sword meter there. You can see how much uh, space there is for that too there. And then, you, once you've got that, you can do this, which is a much faster series of attacks that drains the meter. Now, the weird thing is that there is, and that doesn't look like much now, but when you land that, it is really cool. But what you can't see here is there's actually a second part to the uh, sword meter, um, which is the outside part of it lights up as well. I don't know exactly what the mechanic for it is. It's to do with taking damage, I think. Um, but I don't know 100% for sure what the, the mechanic for that is. Or maybe it's just extra if I just keep hitting it builds up. No, it seems to cap out there. Um, so when you have enough, you can do this thing where you do uh, YB. And then RT and Y. Yeah, and that gives you the spirit thrust. And that's this really powerful attack. Does a heap of damage. Um, but yeah, getting your stuff fixed, like, it's not your fault, really. Like, you, you, you've got a, you know, what was a few years ago a decent gaming PC, and that's fine. Like, this game should run on it at mid settings. Um, hopefully, the patching happens uh, soon enough. Um, and yeah, I imagine, given how bad the performance problems are on PC, um, I imagine that there will be performance optimizations for the PC version, but Capcom are probably more about the content updates than the optimization updates, I would say. Um, that said, the support for this game has been freaking excellent since it came out on PS4, so it's not like this is a game that's just going to get abandoned and sit on Steam with no, um, no updates for years. I mean, it sold too well for that, for a start. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. Where are we going up here? Oh, hey, we can talk to this guy. Best place for you to boost your hunt. You're from the fifth. Well, let me clear you in. Whatever. Health. Stamina. Whatever. Max gains. Go and sit down over there at the counter, Scorny. When you're ready to get your pre-hunt on, let me know. I will let you know. Yep. I love the canteen. Always, always, always go to the canteen before you go on the quest. Never don't do that. First rule of Monster Hunter World. Go to the canteen. Okay, we, we gotta cull a bunch of Jagras. That's all this is about. The new world is waiting. Yes, let's quest. Let's questing. Let's low rank. Let's do it. Accept the quests. It'll go... Yep. Exit the tutorial. What I've noticed with the uh, P 
PC version too is that quests are basically instantly ready to go. Um, you don't have to wait for them to be ready like you did on the PS4. Uh, we'll get uh, we'll get a meal. Watch the hilarious animation. Right, we're ready to go. Let's go on the quest. Are oh, you welcome for the info? It's, um, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to give you my knowledge. I mean, I, I'm only going. A lot of what I'm giving you is stuff I've seen online. Like the PC version hasn't been out long enough for there to be a huge amount of knowledge like that about it yet, and people are still figuring out stuff a little bit, like both in the game and in terms of how to get it running. Um, but, you know, I played the PS4 version, I got like over 100 hours on PS4, so... It's just telling us what quests are and how to use them, we don't care. Yeah, small yellow thing is Jagras. Jagras. Oh hey, I didn't change the language yet. Oh well. We might as well just stick to Japanese for tonight. I've noticed with the Japanese version of the handler is she says senpai a lot. Now we'll grab those. I'll have to organize my inventory at some point, but uh, we're fine. It's like the first quest, it's like it matters, except I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> okay, that little controller tutorial, that one there telling you to use X or B to select by holding down LB and do, doing this to flip through the uh, toolbar at the bottom right there. That is a goddamn lie because you can just press left and right and the d-pad to do the same thing and the game never tells you that by the way oh i think i must have lost the online connection that's fine we didn't have anyone in the in the quest anyway so it's fine Weapon sheathing and unsheathing in this game, by the way, is something you actually have to get used to because it's a thing that happens and controls change based on whether your weapon is sheathed or unsheathed and it doesn't necessarily happen automatically. Like, I'm gonna do that and that's unsheathing. Okay, and this is why I don't like melee weapons. Ah, it's the thing you gotta remember. This is not Bloodborne. So I mentioned the animation cancelling. What that means is that when I go to attack, when I go to hit that attack button, do that attack, I cannot cancel that into a roll. Right? I have to roll after the animation. I can cancel the, I can cancel from there, which is the the wind up, the the recovery animation. Um, but I cannot cancel, uh, did we have to kill two then? Skin these two, because they do, they do drop par Jagras loot. If you want the Jagras armor, if you're going to collect it, I don't know why you'd want it, but if you're going to collect it, uh, you want those hides, so. But yeah, so that that's the whole thing about animation lock, is once you're in an attack, and particularly on a, a slower weapon like this one, you are locked into that attack. Didn't hit anything. Oh well. I didn't have any charge up for it anyway. That's some good hits though. The thing is though, this is kind of, this is kind of a, a silly quest in some ways because it doesn't, you're generally not fighting small monsters like this. Like if you were, this sword would be great because it's got that really nice big AOE swing, but... Okay, so now my sharpness is down and what that means is that my weapon can bounce when it hits an enemy. It probably won't bounce off these guys, but it can. 
Okay, it's telling me I should heal. Doesn't matter, I want. Flash flies. I should probably uh, get the loot off those those centipedes. So you have to shave the weapon before you can uh, carve it, which is what this is. Just so we're all clear on what it means when I say carve. I really think I'm probably going to play the bow. I really don't like the sword. I want to try something different, but I just ah oh. sharpness though. Maybe I'll try. Maybe I'll go twin blades. Twin Blade is actually what I started playing when I first started playing the game. Okay, try out the 30 FPS cap, see how you go. Um, and uh, yeah. Because yeah, if you're going to get a consistent frame rate, that's better than a wobbly frame rate. Okay. Ah, decision time. Do I want to stick with the long blade, do I want to try the twin blades, or do I want to just give up and admit my defeat and go back to being bow girl? Uh, I don't know. like bows. Bows are good fun. Bows are very good fun. Check that connection, which we lost before, so this might take a little while. Might take quite a while, actually. Yeah, it's going to take a while. Okay, this is taking a very while. Cool. Fine work taking down those Jaguars. So there's no difference in their habitat, but their numbers are increasing, I see. Maybe stating the obvious, but the Jaguars aren't the only danger lurking in these parts. We've also received reports of a Kestodon herd heading, getting out of hand. This must be all because Zora Magdoros made landfall, it's got everything riled up. Well, it's going to be your job to quiet them down, we'd like you to investigate this Kestodon herd and cull the numbers. I'm going along, wouldn't want to get hurt. Uh, I don't want voice chat turned on, because then I would be chatting to teammates while I'm streaming. And we can get a login bonus. Really? Oh cool. Oh, because it's our first time here. Yeah. Yeah. Voucher, and we got commemorative, the Steam commemorative gift launch thing, so that's cool. Um, what was I thinking? Hey, it's Poogie! You can apparently pick this guy up, but I've never figured out how. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, I, I remember what I was going to do. I was going to... Um, no, I was going to uh, return to title. And change the voice language. I've decided not to play it in Japanese, so I'm going to flip it over to English right now. After all that, I decided to do it this way. You have to do it from here, you can't do it in game. So let's go options, audio. Uh, no, so I want language. Voice. Oh, you can have everyone speaking monster. That might be what everyone's lip synced to, actually, is the Monster Hunter language. That might be what everyone is lip synced to. Oh, you have to press the. Oh, right, right, okay, I'm gonna try that. That might be why the lip syncing uh, is weird in the game, because it's actually supposed to be for the, um, the Monster Hunter language. Okay, now I'm gonna try that again now. So, my online session died before, so uh, let's see how we go this time.
Or maybe I won't be able to do this online. This might actually be because I'm also streaming and uh, my upload bandwidth is very limited, so I probably probably am going to struggle being online and uh, doing uploads and stuff, actually. Anyway, if this doesn't happen, we'll just continue in offline mode for the moment. It's not a big deal. One neat thing uh, with this game, too, is it does support PS4 controls and apparently Switch controls if you get one of those uh, plugged in and hooked up to your PC. You can use the, uh, the Switch Pro Controller. Um, apparently. Which I'd like to try because the Switch Pro Controller is vastly more comfortable than either the X-Bone or the uh, PS4 controller. So I'd really like to have a go at that at some point. I have to get my uh, Switch controller and the cable set up and see if I can make that happen. But the one thing it doesn't do is it doesn't detect that using the PS4 controller and display the... Um, yeah, I'll just go offline. It doesn't uh, detect that you're using a PS4 controller. Um and display the uh, PS4. So, what I'm supposed to do, I guess, is this, and then... Hey, I did it! I think... Oh, I did it! I, it works! Oh, neat! Hey, I can carry the poogie around. Was it really that simple? I did not know that at all. I feel like such an idiot now that I, now that I know that. I'm carrying the poogie. I'm so happy. Can I put the poogie down? Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. And now I can just always play with the poogie. Like, I've completely unlocked the poogie. Oh no, I've got to do that. And change its clothes. Memorial stripes. Oh, of course, because the poogie actually has different... Yeah. I know what I'm going to change this Poogie's clothing colour to. Okay, that looks about right. That's that colour. No, no, don't cancel, don't cancel. Um, so that's that colour that I want. Now, you might be wondering what I'm trying to achieve here. So brown. Um, actually, maybe that, that brown there. Yeah, that brown there, that's correct. Okay, so I want brown, and then I want color two. Yeah, it's a Hawthorne Poogie. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay. Oh, you can rename it. <laughs> I didn't realize. It's so cool. Now I have my Hawthorne Poogie. I'm so happy. Looks actually kind of like a B, but sure. Actually, no. You know what? Oh, look at that. Hang on. I, I'm not done. I'm not done. That's the wrong yellow. Let's fix that yellow. Okay. Need that yellow to be... Because uh... it's more... Hawthorne's more a gold uh, colour. Yeah, that's more Hawthorne's colour. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. I might just change the brown up a bit too. Ah, oh, damn it. I messed that up. Yeah, that looks better. I'll do the same for the brown, actually. I'll make it a little bit... Uh... See, it's fine. Brown should be a bit darker. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that looks better. Both on Poogie. Man, I'm so happy with that. That's my one goal for this stream, was to make my Poogie look like a Hawthorne, look Hawthorne colours. Yeah, 100 hours on PS4. I just never thought to ask anyone how to do that. Oh, hello. Already 
be Tori Pinnell Tavern Gathering Hub with Celestial Pursuit. At the Gathering Hub, you can meet with other hunters and embark on the quest. To find a Celestial Pursuit, just look up. See that ship atop a steroid that looks like it's about to sail off the stars, that's it. You can get up there by taking a lift. Please come visit us as soon as you get a chance. You almost never need to do that except for certain quest types. Um, like the Gathering Hub is a holdover from the old Monster Hunter games, I believe. Um, and it's kind of still there just for people who want it, but you can do most of the stuff just in the town. Um, I'm going to go run screaming back to using the bow. Do not like the sword. I'm going to try bows for the moment. The thing with Monster Hunter though, like, it's fun- it, it is funny that I didn't know how to do that with the Poogie, yeah, fine. The thing with this game though is that there's a lot of stuff it does not tell you. And I had to learn a lot of stuff just by watching YouTube videos and stuff, like, there are whole move sets that I didn't know about, um, with the bow, that I only learned because of watching YouTube video, because the game didn't tell me. So it does have a little bit of an issue in terms of accessibility, I guess. Um, in that regard. Um, I don't think I'll make any armor at the moment, but we'll see. I'm gonna have to kill the Great Jaguars first. Yes, this is how, this is how we do it. Uh, yeah, I can only upgrade at the moment. I've got nothing to upgrade, so it's fine. Um, but we got, we got an armor sphere and some iron ore, so that's fine. We'll use those eventually. What I'll probably do, one of the first things I'll probably try and do is make a bone bow, um, because it has slightly better damage than the uh, metal bow. In this stage in the game, the bone bows are a little bit better, just to start with. How about we start our search in the ancient forest and go from there. Handlers post all the leads we find up on the quest board, so we can use quest board. So basically it's telling you that everything you find at the handler is what you can find at a quest board. Yeah, I don't know, I definitely prefer the handler's English voice. Like, this game just has a whole Saturday morning cartoon vibe to it that I really like, so... We're on the hunt. Cast it on Kerfuffle. Post new quest, yep. Oh, and the other thing you might notice uh, is that occasionally the mouse, person, the mouse cursor in this game just randomly pops up for no readily discernible reason. Okay, let's use the voucher, yes. Just basically doubles our money. Uh, what can I get? I can get that, or I can get fence up and health bonus. Yeah, I want. Generally prefer to have something that gives me both a health and a stamina bonus. This is only in the game. You don't get like the chef's choice platter or anything like that. So you sort of got to take what looks like the best one. Ah, uh, yeah, Near Automata did that with the Mouse Cursor 2, did it? I never played the PC version of that, but yeah. It's one of those things where just Japanese games in general always have slightly dodged PC ports. Like, the Dark Souls series all have weird, weirdly bad PC ports. Like, it's just Japanese developers just don't port to the PC very well. You know, and some of them, I mean, there have been good PC, Japanese PC ports, but they're often... I've often found when it's been a good PC port, it's because it had involvement from like a Western, uh, one of those companies that does specialise in PC ports and stuff. And they're usually Western companies that do that. Um, so when it happens, like, I think the Japanese, the, the PC port of Bayonetta, I think, is like that, where it was not done internally, it was done by an out, out, external studio, and it's actually a really strong port uh, that runs really well and everything like that uh, because of it. Definitely preferring bow. Those, my friend, are casted up. Let's see you take him out on your own. Let's be the only Monster Hunter Twitch streamer in the world. Let me be the only Monster Hunter Twitch streamer in the world who specializes in the bow. I bet I'm not, but you know, because I feel like not many people actually use the bow. Because one of the fantasies of this game, I guess, is to um, I'm supposed to. I'm just supposed to kill these guys. That's right. Well, one of the fantasies of this game, of course, is big, huge sword slicing through big, scary monsters. But for me. I used to be a World of Warcraft player, um, so, let me remember how to play bow. 
I used to be a World of Warcraft player, so oh, I missed that up. Missed the timing up. Um, so for me, the word hunter means bow person. And so that's kind of my fantasy. Besides, the bow gameplay in this game is just fantastically good. When I remember to do the uh, dragon pieces properly. That was a disaster. Okay, yeah, that's one male casted on down. The difference between the bow and the other weapons is the bows uh, use stamina to attack, so you have to um, have to sort of keep an eye on your stamina. Um, whereas uh, I, I, some of the other weapons have attacks that use stamina, but like not every attack or most it'll be most attacks. Um, but yeah, here it's just every bow attack is stamina based. And I suppose that's kind of because otherwise you could just shoot forever. Oh, that wasn't a Kestodon. Whoops. Alright. You're a Kestodon. That's what I was trying to do before, the big scary dragon piercer. But don't run away! Gotcha. Ah. Yeah, let's follow the scale flies. Oh, that was an Aptonoth. Bloody hell. I can't even tell what a Kestodon looks like. Everything looks different at night. That's what the problem is. My excuse and I'm sticking to it. No, it's just because I generally just don't focus on the smaller monsters, I guess. Oh, that's right. There's a bunch of them down here, isn't there? Yeah, these are Kestodons. Yeah, like, 90% of the time, you're hunting big, large monsters, you don't really pay attention to what these guys are. For me, the weirdest aspect of the PC port of this game, just, uh, just quietly, is how it uses the, uh, Steam... Is it Steam TV or whatever it is? Like, the, the, the big screen... Steam big screen or whatever it's called. It uses that overlay instead of the normal Steam overlay, and I think that's really strange. Also, it pl does not play well with NVIDIA's um, GeForce Experience overlay at all. Um, this game cannot display... I actually have... You can't see it on screen, and I can't see it on my screen, but I have the frame rate counter for the NVIDIA GeForce overlay turned on, and it doesn't show up at all. And you press, like, Alt-Z to activate it, and it doesn't show up. It's really bizarre. This game just does not play well with overlays or anything like that. And, like, I really hope Capcom patches, like... Because that seems to be, like, some really basic technical stuff that the game is screwing up there. Also, if you have a PS4 controller plugged in, the game does not display PS4 prompts on the PC version. Um, some games can do that. This game doesn't. May have mentioned that already. I can't remember if I did. Ah, did I go to the canteen before we went out here? I did, didn't I? I'm fine. I'm fine. These guys don't hit very hard. This armor I've got actually is slightly better than the other starting armor options. It actually has a couple of skills on it. And um, I think it has slightly better stats than the other two armors. The leather or the chain armor. Okay. Oof. Okay, where are we? You're all dead? Can I get carbs? I can get carbs. Oh, you didn't die. I thought you died. No, you died. Hey, come here. I think I found something. Hang on a second, let me get these carbs. Loot first, then help. Can you tell I used to play World of Warcraft a lot? Also, I want this bone pile because I want the uh, small bones. Sorry, the uh, monster bone S's. Because that will come in very handy when I get around to crafting the bone armor. And probably the bone bow as well. Grab that. 
Come over here. Over here. Oh, while well, I'm thinking about it, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I can't. Use oh no, I ran into a cutscene. Damn it! Hmm. Look at those Kestodon. Something's up around. I love this this sequence. I think it's such a great way to introduce the monster. Even though we already saw Great Jaguars and we saw it get beat up by an Anjanath. Like, it's like, yeah, no, this guy's actually a threat. You should be careful. Gotcha. All right, partner. New assignment incoming. Take down that Great Jagras. If you're not ready, you can return to base and take on the Great Jagras quest later. Want to get going? Uh, yeah, I'll just uh, drop a potion and uh, get some health back. Go to the menu and select SOS player to signal him. And you're going to need friends when you go up against some of the tougher monsters. In order for the scout flies to better track a target monster, we need to keep finding traces of it. Like footprints, for example. Also, we're probably just going to loot the crap out of all the resources here because we're going to need them at some point. Follow the trail. The other reason to play this game in English is that there's actually a fair amount of dialogue that isn't subtitled, and if you have it in Japanese, there's a bit of dialogue that you won't hear. Um, including, like, the first, like, 20 seconds of a major cutscene later in the game where it's all just people yelling at each other and none of it's subtitled. So that, that, that is the disadvantage if you do play the game in Japanese. The disadvantage is that the subtitling is very specifically for only certain dialogue. Um, and I really hate video games that do that. Um, IS-8 has a bit of that as well, where all the in-combat uh, dialogue, where when you're fighting and stuff, the characters will say stuff to each other, and if you have it in Japanese, it's never subtitled. Um... Tracked the Great Jagras enough for the scout flies to lead us to it. You're less likely to lose sight of a monster if you use the focus camera. Yeah, but the focus camera's shit though. So, you might notice that I don't use charge shot. If, if you've played the bow, you might be aware that you can do this with it. Alright. Now only occasionally do you want to do that in fact the reason you want to do that i mentioned before that bows are very good for landing satisfaction effects and the charge shot is actually even better so if you let the full two hit charge oh jeez i missed again you do this it does that but if you do the rapid strikes like this it actually gives you the same charge levels much faster and you get more hits in so you overall end up doing more damage by doing this but if you want to land a status effect on a monster using the bow, um, the charge shot apparently gives you a higher chance of getting that status to come in. I messed that up. Uh, get up, get up, get up. I can't move. I think I was stunned then, but I couldn't move. I was, I was stuck lying down for some reason. The other thing with the bow is that... Um, it's generally, and not not always, and you've got to be good at it, but it's generally better than other weapons at guaranteeing hits on particular body parts of the monster. Here we go. Uh, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Yeah, got it. Big hits, big hits. So, for example, I, I mostly want to hit the head, or if I want to cut the tail, I c and you can cut the tail with a bow. I have done it very occasionally. I'm not sure you can do it with a great jaguar, though, but... Uh, it is possible to get a tail break um, with the bow. That there was, uh, I was gonna say there was something back here. It's just red pit. Oh, bone pile, need that. Great for getting a monster's attention or creating a distraction. I always forget to use the stinger. Like, the thing I'm worst at in this game is using the stinger. My inventory full. Your wildlife map keeps track of yes, I know what that does. No? Why is that red pill just lying around? I can't seem to pick it up. Oh, maybe I maxed it out on him. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Hopefully that's enough monster bones that I can actually build the, um, bone bow. 
We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, for me, the fantasy of a hunter is like shooting creatures with a bow and running after them and stuff like that. So that's why I prefer the bow. Also, no sharpness mechanic is a big selling point for me because I hate the sharpness mechanic. Yeah, sure. Um, I should be here. If I'm suddenly offline, uh, it'll be because um, my uh, people I live with have come home and uh, I had to get offline. But yeah, no, you, you're welcome to head off and do your own uh, 30 FPS testing. Thanks for thanks for tuning in and watching, and uh, let me know how it goes for sure. Nice. You can also mount a, mount with the bow, I just don't remember how. Oh, I just wish I could get out of its way. Rebuild my stamina. That was a good hit. Okay, it's buggering off. I want to get these uh, materials that are dropped. Oh, they're piercing pods, that's fine. I did get a break, so I got, uh, got an item, which is good. What I wanted. Where are you going? What are you trying to do here, little Jagras? It's not really worth trying to hit him at the moment. Just wait for him to get where he's going. We're just going to be in here, which is good for us, because we can do something to him. I really like doing it to monsters. One right there, too. Just grab this. Actually, I didn't even need to do that. I can just do... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Where are you, Jagras? Around here. Shoot that. We should blind him. Don't think we did, though. Hmm. Let's get that hit. Nice. So I mentioned before that you don't see as high damage numbers with bow. Um, as you do with the others, but you can also see that you see multiple damage numbers in hit, and if you add those together, it does start to add up to what other weapons do. Yeah. Yay! We killed it! Our first actual monster. Oh boy. Just wait until we have to come back and kill it in high rank. I don't think I've ever killed a high rank great Jagras, actually. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm gonna go uh, grab myself a drink just quickly uh, while this finishes up. So I'm just gonna AFK for a moment while that happens uh, and I'll be back shortly. Just while it's uh, counting down.
got a lead. Oh, we got a lead. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Let's check it out. God, it's a weird looking one, this one. I love Puke Puke. Well, you were right. There's our mark. Something's got him agitated. <laughs> Look over there. What in the heck is that? Never seen anything like it. You think it's from Zora Magdaros? I'd like to find out. But we better report back first. All right? Right, cast it on kerfuffles. Lots of rewards. And we got 4,800 zenny. And that, that is what the currency is. It's Capcom's traditional zenny currency. Palicos, welcome to the new world. We got an achievement that I already had. Excellent, we're doing alright. Oh, I'd send some researchers out right now, but not with a pissed off Puke Puke hanging around. Puke Puke territory, that's pretty deep in the forest. We'll be better equipped to take it on. Once our team from the resource sensor is done rebuilding the forest camp. Once it's ready, we'll make our move. Until then, we do everything we can to help them get the camp up and running. Let's get to it. Yeah. Once the camp is set up, we can go after that Puke Puke. Hmm. Yes, which would be good. We gotten used to how things work around here. New world, new rules, it's something you have to get used to, but you will get used to it. You have to, your life's counting on it. Look around you, everyone here, strange or crazy as it may seem, they've all crossed the sea just like you and they've all carried out their duties. They look like the new world in the eye and they realise the old way of doing things wouldn't cut it. it. Didn't stop them though, they had conviction. Do you have conviction, Hunter? You should get to know your colleagues. Maybe some of the craziness will rub off on you. Ha! Ha ha ha! I am going to go to the blacksmith. See if we can't get the uh, bone bow. Uh... Oh, we can just buy one, can't we? <laughs> the first tier bone bow you can just buy. And it's a better bow than this one. Um, just all around better damage. So let's uh, purchase a weapon. We'll go bows. Yeah, hunter's bow. So this 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 is the the first bone bow basically that um and th th this bow and its uh and its upgrades got me through most of low rank when i first played this game and they're probably going to get me through most of low rank again um so i'm just going to see if i can let, let's just equip that yep yeah i know how to upgrade come on exit tutorial uh, I'm just going to see if I can get the uh, Hunter's Bow 2 upgrade. That would be very handy to have. So, j just so we're clear, this is upgrading in Monster Hunter World, if you've never seen this before. Um, weapon upgrades use this system. So, you have different trees, which are the different types of weapons. And as you can see, uh, depending on the materials you use to upgrade a weapon, you can turn it into something else, something better, on the same line, or something different. Um, so, this is the bow we had, which is the Iron Bow. It does 96 damage. No affinity. This is the Iron Bow 2. It has 108 damage. This is the Bone Bow. It does 120 damage out of the box. It's better than this upgraded. Um, it's just raw better. There's no argument there. Alright? It is just a raw better bow. Alright? 
And then, I've already got the upgrade materials to get this to 132, which is better again, and it has Paralysis and Poison. So, what's going on? The coatings are these things you can put on it to apply status effects. Uh, power coating, I think, is just a raw damage upgrade, and that is one advantage of using the Orbos, you can use power coating with them. Uh, whereas this one, you have to use Paralysis and Poison. But there is a bow here, um, that we don't know yet because we haven't actually got it, but it's the bow for the... No, it's this bow I'm thinking of here. Um, we don't know what it is yet, but it's actually the Tobi Kadachi bow. Um, it has Thunder Element, adds about 150 damage as long as the monster isn't resistant, which most aren't. By the time we'll get that, um, one of the things we'll be doing is um, a fight that involves a monster called Nergigante. Nergigante! Oh god. Oh! <coughs> oh! I just did the worst burp. Oh my god, that was disgusting. Oh! Oh, that was rough. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. Okay. I nearly threw up. It's fine. I'm not sick. I just... That burp, for some reason, was bad. No Gigante, as I was saying, is vulnerable to lightning damage. So, we're going to be getting this bow at some point. As soon as we get the materials, we'll probably get that. What, I, what I'll likely do is actually get this and then upgrade to this. Um, but one thing you can do with upgrades, you can actually downgrade them back. Um, so once you have an upgrade, you can downgrade it and you get all the materials refunded, which is really nice. Um, but for now, we're going to upgrade to the Hunter's Bow too, which is already vast improvement over what we have. Um, don't think I've got enough materials to make the bone armor yet, but as soon as I can, we'll probably move into getting that as well. But for the moment, we've got bone bow, uh, which is nice. And yeah, you can see here now we've got the option of upgrading to these from the bone bow. So there's three different paths we can take. We can go the hunter's bow three. Sorry, hunter's bow two is what we're upgraded to. But uh, yeah, bone. You can, this is why I call it bone, because it's called bone tree on the tree. Um, now, armor upgrading is different. You need things called armor spheres, um, and you upgrade the armor by levels. Um, so, I'm not going to bother upgrading this armor, um, because I'm going to, I'm going to replace it. In fact, I'm probably not going to upgrade any low rank armor if I, unless I feel I need it. Um, do I have enough bones to make all of this? Let's, let's add this together. So, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. I'll show off a really cool feature of this game right now, um, if you've never seen it. So, you can see these little icons there that indicate that I've got that. I... Also, you can have a look at each individual set, but one nice thing is you have a look at the set as a whole, gives you all the stats. Also, preview the whole set, what it looks like, um, which is really nice. The bone set is what we're going to try and get. Kestodon is just a uh, glove. Um, it adds, yeah, affinity sliding. Um, so, some monsters just have a single piece. We'll, we'll encounter another one a bit later, the Jagoras, which looks kind of dopey. I'm not a fan of the Jagoras armor. But the bone armor is just raw good, um, and that's why I'm going to get it. Uh, so, that's the reason we're going to get that. It's actually better than what we previously had. Sorry, I'm just answering a text message. Yeah, it's fine. Um, so, there's a couple of things you can do with armor. You can see down the bottom there's an option for wishlist. If you press the Y button, um, you can add armor to your wishlist. Now, I'll add all of these pieces to the wish list and show off something really cool. I really love this. This is a really nice quality of life feature that this game has. And I think a lot of other games that rely on crafting mechanics for gear upgrades or item gathering for gear upgrades, I think there's a few other games that could deal with that. Now, let me back out of here and we'll bring up the menu. And if I go over here, you can see you have this wish list option. And the wish list shows us all the things on our wish list. But you can see up the top, you've got check wish list and total required materials. Flip over here, it's telling me that I need one more ancient bone to make the whole set. So I already know that I've got almost everything I need for this upgrade. The one thing I'm missing is an ancient bone. This is the total amount of materials we need for everything on the wish list. It is a super cool feature. Um, I really like the wish list. Uh, someone over there's got. Oh, let's talk to this guy. Yeah, he's got a got a quest. <coughs> oh me. So the fifth has arrived. Greetings there. I'm the airship engineer with the second fleet. I work on flying machines, airships, and what have you. 
I'm sure you're curious about why you haven't met a member of the Third yet, that's because they've all been stranded for years. It wasn't long after the scholars from the Third landed before they insisted upon crossing the Great Ravine. Sorry, just check something there, that's fine. Um, so they got their ship converted into an airship and off they went. It was going well until after they'd crossed the ravine, a flying monster attacked their airship and grounded them. Sure, they were reckless to go, but seeing as I'm the man who put them in the air, I can't help but feel partly responsible for it all. Ever since then, I've been working on making a better airship, one that we could use to go rescue them. But between New World's nasty weather and the strong winds hurtling down the ravine, it's been one failure after another. Still, you won't catch me calling it quits. Okay. Um... I want to do a little bit of inventory management before we go any further. Okay, so let's uh, we want to put those away. Put those away. Put those and I want those. Actually, no. Let's let's do this properly. Let's get all of this stuff out of here. So this is another cool thing you can do in this game. It's a really neat way to keep your inventory going. So let's add literally one of these items. Just the one. Don't need more than one. It'll make sense shortly. If, you, if you're not, if you don't know what I'm doing, then it'll make sense shortly. Uh, do I want raw meat? Yeah, I do. I want raw meat. I don't get a lot of raw meat, but I want some for the moment. Uh, we don't want those in there. I don't want those. I don't want those. I want one of those. And I want... Okay, well, for now that's everything, but what I'm going to have to do before we go any further, I'm going to craft, yeah, I'll craft some Omega Potions for a start, but I want to craft some Herbal Medicines. Um, and I want to craft, actually, no, you know what I want to do? So you have this thing where you can do auto crafting, and I want to do that for all the coatings. Where are the other coatings? Yeah, so what we want to do is set these to auto-craft. So when we pick up the items that you need for them, um, which will be those herbs, fire herbs, sleep herbs, parashrooms, it just crafts that and I'll have some in my inventory. So that's why I want to do that for those. I want to turn that off for stuff like these because I don't really use these because I'm not using bow guns. So I don't really need it turned on for the bow gun ammo stuff. What else is it turned on for? Dung pods? Do I want it for dung pods? Yeah, I do. And yeah, the pods we want, that's fine. Um, yeah, everything else, maybe not. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's how we want to do that. I could actually turn, oh it is turned on for Mega Potion, and I could turn on for First Aid Med Plus, which is basically a uh, First Aid Medicine uh, plus Honey, that might not be a bad idea as well. <clears throat> Although, I wonder how that would work. Would they fight for the honey? Maybe? I don't know. We'll find out. Um, don't want to do it for herbal medicine though. Oh, maybe I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, we'll put auto crafting off that. This might be weird, but we'll see. Uh, anyway, um, so let's go back to here because I created the other thing I wanted, which was that. I'll add that in. Uh, and there's a couple of other things I want to add in as well. One of the other things I want actually is in the ammo coatings and it's the power coating and I just want one of those. Okay, so we got that, and all of that. Now, was there anything else that I'm forgetting to put in here? I don't think so at the moment. Oh, I could probably, yeah, life powder. Yeah, I could probably put that in. And demon powder. Ah, uh, do I want demon powder? Do I care that much? Yeah, I do. I have demon powder. They're always good. Life powder and demon powders, and uh, what's the other one? The uh, hard shell. Yeah, I have these, just, just so I've got them there. Okay. So, that's everything I want there. Now, what we do from there, manage items, what we do from there, is we go here and we overwrite that. That's the default loadout, we don't want that. We make, I pressed the wrong button. <sighs> okay, let me fix this. Whoops. That was dumb. 
Okay, let's try that again. Right, okay. Okay, let's put that in there. Now, let's do this properly. We want to press this button to register the loadout. That overrides the existing loadout. Now we've got this as a loadout, we can always just refill our, um, our, um, our inventory from that one loadout. But, but, I hear you ask, why do you only have one of everything? Why do you not have the maximum number you can have of everything? You could do that. But there's a button. You might see it down there. It says restock. Why? There we go. That is how you do it. Also, I can't use the power coding on the bow. <laughs> using that one. Well, the LT isn't the Tobi Kadachi bow, so it's fine. Um, but for the moment, we can't. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so that's all I wanted to do there. Let's go talk to the provisions manager. I will use the lift because it's right there. And on the PC version, the lift has no load time, which is really nice. Other reason playing in English, the accent the provisions manager has. You going to help us rebuild the camp? This is excellent news. I hope you're as good as they say you are. If so, we'll have plenty of work for you. After all, the commission studies lots of things, not just the Elder Dragon you came here with. Maintaining and improving the base is a full plate of tasks in itself. Can't study anything without a proper HQ, after all. The resource center here is in charge of giving up all that work and making sure it gets done. So, back to business. Your job is to establish a camp. Go on an expedition into the ancient forest, find a viable campsite, and make sure it's safe. If any monsters have decided to do any camping in your spot, you'll need to chase them off. Got it? The bounty is for establishing the camp. And that's the introduction to the resource centre. Someone on Kotaku's comments today was complaining about the fact they didn't get introduced to this. I'm like, but hang on, you get an entire quest. Did you not do the entire quest? I don't think there's any... Yeah, we don't have access to the limited bounties or anything like that yet. Okay. Okay, let's get this expedition underway. Meet me at the gate. And that is how we do quest postings. Although we can do do it this way for this one. Want to get going? Because you have to do it as an expedition, so. Right now, we're in Astera. If you want to go on an expedition, open your world map and choose your destination. For this expedition, we need to head to the ancient forest. We can expand expeditions as we delve further into the new world. Pretty good incentive to explore, right? Oh yeah. Let's go. Okay, so yeah, expeditions are untimed open missions. Also, you don't get supply boxes in them. Whenever you leave the base without signing up for a quest, you'll go on an expedition. There's no time limit or cap on how many times you're allowed to faint, which means you can explore to your heart's content. The other benefit of the expedition is it's good for our resource gathering and farming. Uh, very handy for that. Can you actually get up there? No. Where's that exclamation mark there? 
Oh, but hang on, it's back that way. I'm like, hang on a second, where am I going here? That sounded like a large beast. Over here. Linian researcher, hey. My field is Grimalkines. Yes, Grimalkines. Grimalkines are a type of Linian that are native to the New World. I wish to communicate with them and learn their lingo. But these creaky old bones just can't keep up with the flighty little chaps. Perhaps you could be of help. Buy my gnarly knuckles. If you chase after them, we track them down in the time it takes to say Nyao. What do you say? You're doing an old man a favour? Yeah, we'll find some Grimalkines. Maybe we'll find some Grimalkines. I don't know if we will. Might. There's some cool views to be had here. Like this one over here, which just looks out over the, uh, that bridge there. Incidentally, that is not something you can ever jump across, as far as I know. I've never, never found any way to get there. I think it's just there for decoration. Hey, look at these ants. We have captured some ants. That might not seem like much, but it's six research points per, per ant we captured, so that's handy. There is a reason to capture all these little creatures as well. Uh, we'll head around here. There's a couple of more exclamation marks. Actually, is that back in the camp, that one? You can fast travel back to camp simply by selecting it from the wildlife map. Oh no, I know what that is. Actually, yeah, we will... Okay, so there's one there and there's one up there. Um, but we want to travel back to camp now because we, we did the Grimalkine thing, but I want to go back to camp because I want to go the other direction, so we'll do that. That'll make sense. I didn't go to the cafeteria before we went out here either. Team here serves food that will give you a boost for the hunt ahead. Yeah, we'll get that one. Okay, we're going to head over this way because there's a guy over here. Hang on. Did I capture it? No. Damn. There's a dude over here we want to talk to. Damn it! I hit my I hit my pelico. <laughs> the pelico does not make you feel good if you accidentally hit it. No better way to spend the day than fishing. I'm the lucky guy. The commissioner's put in charge of studying fish and fish-like creatures here in the new world. Oh, hey there, Jagras. Hey there, great Jaguars. Hi, how are you doing? Walking around the background of this cutscene. Well, let me tell you, I love fish and I live for it. I fish in my sleep. I sleep with... <clears throat> uh, I, I'd already caught all the old world fish, every last one, so when they offered me a job here, I accepted hook, line, and sinker. Anywho, my life here can't be all works. So I've been looking for a chum who loves the allure as much as I do. What do you say, Hunter? Are you game? If you're interested, just give me a holler. I'd like to see what you're made of. So he's a fish guy. Yeah, great Jaguars just, you know, wandering around. Wandering around. Doing want to sing. So I don't know if you've uh, noticed this, but when you're in water, the Pelico has a cute little raft that it uses. Can't go that way anyway.
Yeah, if I, I think if I have to talk to the pissing, this kind pissing, pissing. Oh, that's right. I need to use my fishing rod. If we're gonna do this, let's fish. Get exactly how the fishing works in this game because I've only done it a couple of times, but uh, I'm sure I'll remember shortly. That was a big guy. Whoa, he got him. Bully for you. I haven't got anything. Let me try that again. Let's go over there a little bit. There we go. It's a little bit like Final Fantasy XV fishing, but um, maybe slightly less interesting. As you can tell, this is about the least interesting thing you can do in Monster Hunter Worlds. Eh, stop it. Let's, uh, let's proceed. Ah, that's not where I want to be. Oh, I know what I want to try and do. Gotcha! Lispil, herbivorous bird that feeds on fruits and seeds, comfortable around humans and common near Astera. Oh, I missed it. Damn it. I'm trying to catch that one as well. Oh well. Get that hub. Right, where are we? Well, there's Jaggy. Don't really want to deal with him right now. I mean, I could get more Jaguar gear, but I don't really care about Jaguar stuff because it's not really what I'm interested in getting. I want to go this way. I know where I want to go, yeah. Through here. Uh, where are we? Oh, I wanted to get uh, an ancient bone too, didn't I? So, is there a bone pile hanging around around here? I'm sure we'll find one eventually, but I just want to see if there's one around here. Also, there is, I think, a quest above us. Also, I'm really going to have to work out how to turn off Steam notifications. Go up here, I think. No, this isn't the right way. Maybe it's over this way. No, this doesn't look right either. Over here. Ah, uh, what? Wait, what is this thing over here? Yes, I knew what I was doing. Oh hey, there's honey here, I should grab that. You smell Grimmel kinds, do you? Oh, they must be, um... <coughs> oh, that's right, you can find Grimmel kinds around here, can't you? Go this way, I think.
Not exactly making our way to the new campsite, but that's fine. <coughs> ah, pardon me. Yeah, it's a giant vegan wasp. Huh. I think I've got myself very slightly lost here, but you know. It's fine, right? After all, this is an expedition, so we're not supposed to know where we're going. Hey, it's a moss wine! I need a moss wine. Sorry, moss wine, but I have to kill you. I need you for your flesh. Specifically, I need uh, your hide. That'll be important later. Ah, up there, yep. Uh, maybe it's down a bit? Maybe I'm on the wrong level. Just give me a sec, I just need to check my phone. There we go. Okay. Huh. Uh, I don't know where I'm where I'm going here. The Pelico is really pushing the uh, Grimmel kind stuff though. Something back here, that's what I was looking for. That would probably be Anjaneth. Hey, the honey really smoked. We were right here just before, and I'm not sure how to get where I want to go. Ah, oh, you know what? I was too, 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 too low. I need to go up. I think I need to go up. So I got a bit lost here. I think where I'm looking for is actually up there. You see the question mark and stuff is here. Over here. It says like over here. There's actually more up here. So I think I'm going the right way. 
all this time into this game and I still get still feel like I'm getting lost. Yeah, it's actually where we need to go. As weird as that sounds, because we need to go around here. This is what we're looking for. That will be the Grimmel kinds. Those doodles. Oop, hang on. <clears throat> Don't want to go there just yet. Want to go? Oh, I'm right over where it is, aren't I? Further up? Not at the top there, is it? No, I, I remember this being a pain to get to, but I just don't remember why. Oh, yeah, maybe I did need to go further up. I think we could build the camp here. Let's ask the head honchos. Yes, sure. That's uh, not the campsite we're looking for. Strangely enough. Whoa, that's a long drop. This is what I was actually looking for before. This is actually where they were. Yep. This is our capture quest. And she wants us to capture things, so we're going to capture, capture a thing. Oh, yeah. uh, we want to capture a... Uh, I forget what it is. One of these guys here. Yeah, I just captured one. Well, I just captured one. Oh man, I captured it before the quest was ready, and now I'm gonna have to catch another one. Ah, that's annoying. Uh, there is more than one, but there's not more than one doing that jump there that makes it easy. I'm certain that was fine. Oh. We'll capture another one, it won't take long. I say now. Hey, I didn't realize you captured for your wasps. Basically any of the small creatures, like the ones that you basically kill in one hit, you can capture. I captured a paratoad, for example. There is a good reason to do all that. There it is. Over here. Oh, there's like a million of them here. Oh, come on. Seriously? Now, go back over here. Oh, damn it. I just wait here. One of them will come back here. Then all I do is bounce between the trees, so as long as we line it up. Got it. We have to turn this one in too, I think. You can assign a target destination for your scout flies on the map. Cool. Yeah, okay, I, I don't I don't care, I want to talk to this Oh maybe I just successfully did the did the bounty by doing that. I can't. Oh no we can. Captured yeah. Study it extra carefully. Mm. 
Good researching time. <clears throat> Not a good time to me. Well, it's Anjanath. He's getting ornery. Uh, I can't interact with you while Anjanath's there. Can I? No. Damn. Oh, but hang on, I don't think I need to anyway. I think I just go up here. Yeah, I remember now. Yep. You'd think I'd remember because I did this quest yesterday. Hello there, Kulu Yaku. You're a problem. Well, if we don't take care of that past, it won't last the night. Oh yeah. Yes, I know how Scout flies work, and my controller has just momentarily stopped working because the cable I use is slightly dodge. Very occasionally I have to unplug, ah, and replug the controller, and uh, then it uh, works. Right. Bird Brain Bandit. Let's hunt a Kuluyaku. Switch to the world map, then select Astera. Okay, um, I think this might be a good place to leave it uh, for the Kuliyaku. I want to do the hunt now, but it will take a while, and I've just been informed I don't have a huge amount of time, so I'm going to have to leave the stream here for the moment, um, and I will uh, uh, return from our expedition for the moment, and uh, we'll have to come back when I stream on Monday. Um, I'll come back and I will do the Kulu Yaku and we'll keep going in in from there. We'll get a fair bit done on Monday, hopefully. Um, I want to get up to the next uh, Zora Magdoros encounter if we can. We'll see how we go. But uh, the goal is to get through low rank, like this week. Um, and then we can do high rank stuff on stream all the time, every day. Which will be good fun. Um, but yes, that seems like a good place to live. I'm actually going to probably play more on my other character. Um, that seems like a good place to leave it for the moment. Uh, so we're gonna put it there. Oh, and we can, we can actually just pick that quest up now. We actually have, um, did I get enough to do, oh yeah, did I, one thing about it, did I, uh, back out, uh, did I get, how's my wish list looking there for the bone armor? I didn't get the ancient bone. Oh well. Oh well. Um, but yeah, if I go here, be an assigned quest called Birdbrain Bandit, and we can just do the cool Yaku quest from that. Okay. Okay. Oh, that sounds like fun. We'll do that on Monday. I'm going to drop back to the title screen, and we're going to leave the stream there for tonight. Um, I had a lot of fun. Um, who was that? The Mixer? Is that your name? Yeah, um, the mixer, I uh, was in chat before and uh, he went off to do 30 FPS testing on his PC. Not sure if he came back. Uh, if you're there, um, hopefully it went well. If not, um, if not, then uh, we'll be, uh, just save my progress, yeah. If not, then uh, hopefully you'll tune in uh, during the week and let me know how it went. Uh, hopefully he'll tune in, let me know how it went. <laughs> I know how it went. Uh, that's not what I want to do. What am I doing? What am I doing? Everything is confusing and weird. Um, but yeah, that's Monster Hunter World for now. Uh, I'll be back uh, tomorrow night. This won't be Monday. Tomorrow night won't be Monster Hunter. It'll be um, IS-8. I'll be back with more IS-8 tomorrow night. And then uh, most of the day Monday we'll be doing Monster Hunter World. And we'll be continuing IS-8 in the evenings on uh, during the week. So uh, that's how it's going to work. But I'll be back with... Uh, if you want more Monster Hunter World, tune in from about 9, 9.30 in the morning on Monday. My time. 
but yeah otherwise thank you for watching and i will see you all uh tomorrow night